Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryden Matador and we're here with another Grand Theft Auto V PC modding tutorial. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content. And just to let you guys know that all of the mods for this video is inside my description below, so go and check it out and don't forget to disable your antivirus. So guys, with that all said, let's get straight into the video. Welcome back guys, I've got a request from uh, from you guys that you guys wanted to know how to install this uh, this map mod. So this map mod is Franklin's house extension and garage and this is made by map editor. So we are going to install this guys, it tells you how to install it but guys um, I will show you guys how to properly install it. So to install this mod guys I'm going to start with a clean folder. Every time when I do tutorials, I always start with a clean folder. So guys, with that said, let's just get straight into the video. All you guys gotta do is download the um, the mod, okay? Once you guys complete that, then download Map Builder and Map Editor. You must, you must do that, okay guys? Once you guys download all of the requirements inside my description, and then we are going to get straight to it. So guys, all you gotta do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, right click, open file location. As you guys can see that this is a clean folder. There's absolutely no mods in here. So in order to start, we need to open up our open IV. Once you open up your open IV, go to Grand Theft Auto V windows. And then after that, go to Tools, then go to ASI Manager, and then install ASI Loader and open IV.ASI, and then select Yes. Then install Open Camera, and then close your file. Now, all you guys got to do is just minimize that for now, and then we are going to install the requirements. Yeah, now, I will leave all the requirements inside my description, okay, guys? So, all you guys got to do is make sure that you have the latest Skitog V. Open up the extract folder. Go into your bin folder and select the input 8.drl and Skitog V.drl and drag them both into your GTA V main directory. If this application pops up, just replace. And then go to your Skithog V.net extract file. And then select Skithog V.net.asi.drl and .xml and drag those three files inside your GTA V main directory. And now guys, select your trainer V extract file. And then select trainer V.asi and .ini and drag them both into your GTA V main directory. Then now go to your menu extract folder and then select menu stuff folder and menu.asi and drag them both into your GTA V main directory. Now guys, this is optional, but I highly recommend you using this Go inside my description, inside my downloads, and download Map Reveal and Open Interiors, and then copy all three files in that in that extract folder, and then drag it into your GTA V main directory. Now, guys, after that, all you guys got to do now is right-click, refresh, and then right-click again, and then create a new folder and name that folder Scripts. Press enter once and press enter again and now we are going to install map editor. All you got to do is open up your extract folder, copy everything inside there guys and drag it into your scripts folder. Once you guys do that, I will leave inside my description the custom native UI.drl 
make sure that you do not use the latest version of native UI because map editor does not support the latest version of native UI DRL 1.8. I will leave inside my description the native UI DRL 1.7. Grab this guys and then drag it into your script folder and replace. Make sure you double check to see if it is 1.7. Right click properties details and it's 1.7 now guys once you guys have finished that we are going to go and install map builder now go back to your gta v main directory right click refresh and now just minimize that for now guys and then now let's get to our map builder now guys once you guys come into this website okay on map builder i highly recommend you guys do not push this button okay don't push this button okay because this button will take you to an extract folder and then now you will be wasting your time because the because inside the extract folder will be a website so guys don't push this just go scroll down the bottom and come over here and just push this and this will lead you to the website once you come to the website guys all you got to do is press over here single player download now this download will take a few minutes okay it depends on your pc performance so guys i'm gonna push save okay and then now i'm gonna save it to my desktop and i will see you guys once my download has completed and welcome back guys we have finished the download okay and now guys once you guys have finished downloading your map builder community okay then all you guys gotta do is come and download this okay make sure you have downloaded this so once you guys have finished downloading your map builder all you guys gotta do next is open up your map builder extract folder and then now just drag it towards the side guys then now open up your map builder folder that is inside there make sure it is version 1.04 now all you guys got to do now is select drclist.oiv, mapbuilder.oiv and props.oiv and drag those three files onto your desktop. Now all you guys do is wait for a few seconds and then now all you guys got to do next is just exit out of that and then now open up your open IV, go to your tools, then go to package installer and then now the first thing we are going to install guys is props go to your props.oiv open and then go to install and then now install it into your GTA V main directory then now confirm installation this may take a few seconds it depends on your PC performance and now Go to close do not run your game just yet then go back to tools again guys package installer and then now run your drc list.oiv install and then install it into your mods folder and then confirm installation now again guys this may take a few seconds or a few minutes it depends on your PC performance and then guys once the installation is finished then click close now one more guys we are going to install go to tools package installer and now we are going to install mapbuilder.oiv this may take a few seconds guys or a few minutes it depends on your PC performance go to install then go and install it into your mods folder and then confirm installation now guys all you got to do now is close your folder okay and then we have basically installed our map builder now guys all you got to do next now is just close your open iv and now we are going to go and install our mod over here fragments house so 
once you guys install, um, so once you guys download Franklin's House, okay, mod, all you gotta do is right click on your Grand Theft Auto V game, open file location, okay, now open up the mod, okay, and make sure you guys read the README, it says up here, uh, to installation, to install the, this mod, you will need map editor, yes, map builder, yes, object spawn unlocker, now guys, with this one over here, okay, you don't really need this, okay, the reason why is that if you got menu, you don't really need it, okay, and this is optional, so that is optional, you don't really need it, and then all you guys gotta do now next is grab your, uh, grab your XML file inside Franklin's Expansion House mod and drag it into your GTAV main directory. Once you guys finish that, right click and then refresh and then now all you guys got to do is just exit out of the extract folder and then just double check to see if everything is there. Uh, yep, yeah, maybe it is done. Go to your mods folder, go to updates, go to update dot uh, uh, the DLC list and now yes, map builder is there. Now guys, we are going to go in the game. And now uh, guys, I will see you guys in the game. Make sure you, you refresh your desktop, okay? And now guys, we are going to go in the game and I'll see you guys in the game. Now guys, we are back. Now all you guys gotta do now next is that you gotta check to see if your mods break. So press F4 for trainer V. That works. Press F8 for menu. You gotta put it twice. And now the moment of truth that everybody has been waiting for is that the F7 for map editor. Now let's see if it works. And that works too guys, see? Now guys, there is no menu for map builder by the way, just to let you guys know. So guys, just to install and to spawn the expansion for Franklin's house, all you guys gotta do now is just make sure you have to go away, okay? Make sure you go right away, okay? Because if you are closer, you might lag out or freeze, okay? So just go away, guys. Just only teleport somewhere, okay? Teleport here, okay? And now I'm just gonna go here. And now, guys, to spawn the map, okay? To spawn the map mod, all you gotta do is press F7. Go to load map. Go to file chooser and then find the map mod which is over here. Now guys, all you gotta do now is press enter. Your game will freeze for only a few seconds, okay? Maybe a minute, okay? It depends on your PC performance. So guys, here we go in 3, 2, 1. Uh, so here it goes. So as you guys can see that my game is... It, it looks like it is glitching, but it's not. It's just loading all the props, and that's why I say you must move away from this house, so it doesn't lag you out or doesn't, you know, um, uh, doesn't freeze your your PC and etc. So all you guys gotta do is wait for a few seconds, and then now uh, it should be ready. Now, guys, as you guys can see, that my map is complete. And now we are going to go and quickly showcase you guys this map. But guys, just to let you know, I have already showcased this map um, mod for, with you guys like last year. But um, for those who haven't seen it, I'm going to show you guys, okay? So I'm going to quickly just go over there, guys, okay? Uh, where is it? No, where is it? Right there. So as you guys can see, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave Franklin here. Now guys, as you guys, as you guys can see, okay? I'm not gonna um I'm not gonna go um like like take take Franklin the okay because it's gonna take a long time for the video. So as you guys can see, there's a few new things up here. You can drive your car up here, but you cannot drive a van. Okay, and you can just come up here guys. Pretty cool. You can um park up here. You can park up here too if you want to. And um, you can park around here if you want to. You can come down here, the, the gate will open. And then and then now uh, you can have a barbecue over here too guys. It's taking up to you. And you can park over here. You got a little gym over here guys, tools area. 
and you can come over here guys and you can have a barbecue over here too pretty cool so you guys the map mod did work okay and as you guys and, and as you guys have seen me installing all these mods i did start this mod okay with a clean folder so guys if you say to me that it doesn't work there must be something wrong with your folder okay so guys with that i say okay if you guys need any help okay on how to install mods okay then i'm more than welcome to help you okay just go inside my description and join my discord i'm always online on my discord okay and i'm always active there just only go to my discord guys and then now message me and then tell me what do you need okay um but guys before i do say goodbye to you guys the most important thing okay guys is that you must have map editor and even map builder and remember guys the map editor does not support native ui dot dll 1.8 okay so guys remember that map editor does not support the latest version of native ui okay always remember that okay guys and if you guys do have have a native ui dot dll 1.8 then you must remove it and put the 1.7 inside there, okay? I will leave everything in some of the description, okay? So make sure you guys go and check that out. But guys, with that I said, okay, thank you for watching. And if you guys need assistance, okay, or if you guys got a request on how to install the, any other mods, okay, then please let me know and I am more than welcome to help you guys, okay? So guys, with that I said, okay, uh, I hope you guys do enjoy the video. If you guys did, Smash that like button and subscribe for more daily gaming content and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace and I'm out.